Okay, so I'm going to mount my ProPrompter desktop over my MacBook Pro. And what I'm going to use is the hinge arm right back here. Now that could be flat out like this if you're using it on a larger monitor or a you know flat screen or you know something of that nature, a desktop computer. But for a laptop, this just goes right over like that. There's cushioning right there, so there's no damage, and it just moves right down. Of course, you can tighten that up just a little bit. And then I'm just adjusting the mirrors right here for my point of view. I'm lining this up so the camera is centered right here. So again, all I'm doing to mount this on top of my laptop is just use this hinge arm back here and I slide it over right onto the top of the laptop right there and then use the hinge arm. I'm going to show you from this other angle here now and we'll also use the duvetine wrap which blocks the light out from behind. So to use a Logitech camera or any external web camera, all I do is put the ProPrompter desktop in place either on my laptop or desktop and then I just add my external webcam. Well, to fit on a MacBook Air, there obviously has to be some adjustment. So that it will fit, you just loosen the bolts on both sides here, and it just slides down to fit whatever size that you need. Perfect for the MacBook Air or an iPad Mini. Okay, so here it is on my MacBook Air. I made all the adjustments and adjusted the mirrors from my point of view. Okay, so here is the free prompter. And I can move this around anywhere on my screen. I can resize it, I can make it much bigger. I can put the fonts way up high like this, whatever I want. Okay, so I've just attached ProPrompter Desktop to my laptop. And I know I can move this script around. I want to line it up right there so that in this bottom mirror when I move it up and bring this mirror down it shows the script right to my eye line. Everyone's different. Some people are taller, some people are shorter, some people have their laptop built up, some have it down below. You adjust these and tighten these knobs so this is in your eye line and it's in front of that camera and then all you have to do is just start scrolling. And this is what it looks like to the person on the other side of your video chat.